Welcome to Heat Check. This is the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's dig in to the list. All right now going forward, we're gonna make a little addition to the list. We're gonna add an honorable mentions category. Uh, it's just gonna be a handful of notable, interesting uh, vintage denim uh, workwear sales. Uh, maybe not the highest selling stuff, but some of the coolest stuff. Uh, here we have the first entry this week, and this is uh, 1878 Levi's Jeans Rivets. These are rivets off of some really, 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 really old Levi's. Uh, super interesting here. Look at all, look at these rivets. Super fascinating. Uh, the deal was a great deal. All four went for $51 with three bids. Uh, typically, uh, these go for a bit more than that uh, each, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so really cool, interesting piece of Levi's history here uh, on sale for $51 total. Now at number 10, we have this 1950s Levi's 507XX Type 2. Uh, this thing looks like it's in great condition. Of course, we see these all the time. These are some of the most, most common. I don't, what in the world are they using to show the... The, the, the tab here, that's so weird, okay. Um, let's see what kind of size we're looking at here across the pit. It's a pretty, pretty small one, just even like just under 36, so this would have been a 36, which is why it sold for what it did. The smaller the size, the, the harder uh, it's gonna sell. But this is in really good condition too, so that's that's a good plus for it. Uh, but this one that sold for $990 with 36 bids uh, out of Alexandria, Virginia. So uh, pretty cool type two denim jacket. Now, speaking of type twos, we have another one with uh, just a little bit bigger in size 38 here. This one has its leather patch. Get a little closer, there's a size uh, 38. And a leather patch, which is uh, much harder to come by. Um, they're sometimes a little frustrating to wear because they cinch up so bad here on the back. You can see how, how bad that is. Uh, so a lot of times they just get taken off. Uh, but still, it has it. Otherwise, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. I almost think this is something we've seen before. Uh, a jacket we've already seen sold before, um, but uh, resold. But I, I could be wrong. Uh, generally, really good condition. The plates look like they're in pretty good uh, condition, not torn. Uh, so largely a really nice jacket here for sure. Uh, this one went had 12 bids on it and went for $1,025. So the Type 2 domination continues. We don't normally see this many Type 2s, uh, but this week this is the way it goes. Uh, this one does not have particularly great photos, which is kind of frustrating. Um, they're all really close up. Uh, you can see, let's see down here, uh, is there a patch on it and the inside? I don't think so. It looks like the patch has been removed. Yeah, the patch has been removed. Um, the, the pleats are a little off. I wonder what, I, I'm sure the size must be pretty good on this one. Uh, armpit to armpit is, oh, 34 and a half. That seems um, pretty small. This was his mother's jean jacket from high school. Graduated in 1957. Uh, that's always nice to see. Um, so it's a smaller size, but uh, somebody decided to go ahead and take the shot on this one and got it for 1350. Now we're gonna take a break from type twos and go to type ones. Uh, here we have a 506 double X, but this one's kind of interesting. Uh, and it makes me a little bit sus, I suppose. Uh, I think, I mean, the sale definitely probably went through it, it appears, but uh, I hope people were paying attention here because this is the original Type 1 jacket in a vest form. Looks like the, the sleeves had been cut off. And according to the seller, they uh, repaired it with a 505 jacket. So they took the... the um, the arms off of a 505, I assume probably an earlier 505, um, to repair the uh, Type 1 here. Uh, so uh, obviously that's you know a little iffy uh, in terms of what that would do to the value, but you know look, there's a pocket on the inside uh, sewn in, an inside pocket from probably a pretty old pair of 501s or something. Um, but it's still a pretty cool jacket. Uh, it's coming out of Thailand, so it's gonna take a while to get to wherever it goes, probably. Um, so, not sure how I feel about repairing it, but you know, I'd rather have it repaired, I suppose, than just in a vest form. So, uh, either way, this one still went for 1386. 
So I hope you guys don't get bored of <laughs> vintage Levi's denim jackets because we're seeing a lot of them here this week. Uh, this one we have a Type 1. Uh, this one looks like it's in fantastic condition. Beautiful condition, honestly, for a, for a Type 1. The pleats look like they've maybe almost been completely removed. Uh, I, or the, the pleat uh, uh, thread that keeps the pleats together. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Um, but the patch is removed, but the selvage is beautiful. Other, all, you know, all in all, this one's in a great, oh, there's a little damage there. That's fine. Uh, not too bad. Uh, still, all in all, a really beautiful jacket. Uh, this one came in at $1,400. Finally, a break in the monotony of Levi's denim jackets. We have the 1940s World War II uh, denim like work coat. This is really cool. It's got zinc buttons. Um, size 44, really good size. Could be 1930s, I suppose. But look at this, so cool. Um, beautiful denim. Looks like it's in largely in good condition. Let's see the back here. Um, no major holes or issues there. Here's those uh, U.S. Navy buttons. So cool. There is a tag, probably like a maybe a Union tag that was faded out by now. Uh, let's see if it shows us some of the inside pictures here. The size is really good, really good size. Size is everything with some of these because uh, smaller sizes were just more common back then. So um, honestly, still looks just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous jacket here. Um, this one went for $16.36.99 with 40 bids. So obviously uh, quite a bit of attention on this jacket. All right, so we've basically seen the trifecta here. We have type twos, type ones, and a type three. But this is an interesting type three. This would have been from the earliest era of the type three. Uh, this would have been from the 557 era, but this one's interesting and rare because it is the 558, which is the longer version of the 557. The 557 notoriously was a bit more cropped. This one is uh, actually interesting because it is more closely uh, associated as far as like the length with the next era, which would have been like the 505 era of Levi's denim jackets. This is the 558. Again, much harder to come by. This one looks like it is in incredible condition. Uh, lots of just gorgeous deep blues. Does not look like it's been worn much. There is a zero for the stamp. Uh, I mean, beautiful, beautiful condition. Again, these are much rarer. The long versions were not as common or as popular, or at least uh, weren't as made made as much. Um, they are now much more popular because you know the crop the crop look can be a little bit difficult to pull off sometimes. But what a beautiful jacket! We have not seen a 558 on this list, most likely because there's just not that many that get sold. This one being in exceptional condition did sell for two thousand dollars out of Wichita, Kansas. Congratulations, buyer and seller, on a rare, beautiful piece. Speaking of rare and beautiful, here we have a ladies 1930s uh, 701 buckle back. This is the basically the female version of the 501. Uh, with one of these, uh, this was like a fabric patch rather than like a jarcon or leather patch. Um, really interesting here. These 701s are rare and hard to come by. Um, this is apparently luxury asset capital. I think they should have, you know, taken some better photos, but still, a uh, beautiful ja uh, pair of jeans. The buckle back, so cool. Um, this, you know, this is this is an artifact, especially on these early Levi's and this was removed uh, pretty early on I, I think by the 40s um, and you just did not see them on jeans anymore so getting buckle backs are really cool they have those donut buttons uh, all of the cool intricacies of some vintage Levi's it's gonna be a one-sided tab um, look at how sloppy <laughs> look at how sloppy the the arcuates are and this is sort of common for the time uh, the, the arcuates were just sort of hand done, I believe, um, and they could be all sorts of which way. Look at that super wide selvage denim as well. Uh, just fascinating, fascinating pair of jeans here. Um, at first, I wasn't sure that this was like these were like uh, authentic, but it looks like looks like they, they, they appear to be. Here's that rivet, really cool picture of the rivet, honestly. Um, almost like uh, artistic. 
Uh, so super cool. There's the hidden rivets there. All the internal rivets. You can see. I don't think they're showing us a close-up version of the, the or a close-up picture of the back rivets. Sometimes there was a stamp on those, but I'm not seeing it. Either way, a beautiful pair. Uh, 20 by uh, 28 by 33. This one did sell for three thousand eight hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Just a wonderful piece of Levi's jean history. And it's probably the first time I think we've seen a 701 on this list. Then at number two, we have a, a pair we've seen a couple times on this list. We have a 501 Z double X. Look at the, I mean, 38, 33. Uh, this thing looks like it's in incredible condition. It was, looks like it's been folded and pleated down the sides, around the front. Um, magical condition, honestly. Just so cool. Uh, let's take a look here. We have the Jarcon patch. This is obviously not terribly, terribly old. Probably, uh, probably let's say, late 50s, early 60s. So, nothing too crazy in terms of age, but uh, the condition is definitely a big deal in this case and ma definitely makes the the sale here we have there's that v-stitch uh, and of course the 501 uh, z double x was the zippered version of the 501 uh, which you know later we got like the the 502 and the 505 being straight leg versions with zippers uh, but this was the first in terms of the men's jeans so beautiful pair of jeans here this one that sold for forty five hundred dollars now before we get to number one if you're looking to sell some higher end vintage denim and need some help you can email me at loopfam1 at gmail.com and i can help you out or even give you an offer if you're interested now let's get to number one then at number one, we have probably the coolest jean we've seen on here in a very long time. We have a vintage 501 donut hole buttons from 1944, apparently, uh, from Export Montana. Uh, this one's really interesting. First of all, they did not actually make spell vintage correctly. I'm sure that's just a mistake, but it's so amazing that you see mistakes on, like that on really, really, really expensive jeans like this. Uh, we have some really old Levi's jeans. Let's take a look. Uh, we have that. There's that uh, salvage watch pocket. Here we have. Yeah, it's all out of. It's all so fuzzy. It's, it's okay. So uh, I did get a, a better estimate from a friend who thinks these are worth twice what this person paid for, or the person that bought it paid for. Here's some better pictures. Um, we have the let's see the inside here. That button is uh, I'm very familiar from a pair of jeans I recently uh, purchased from around the same time. There's that uh, the hidden rivets. Let's see, show us the donut. Where are the donut? There are the donuts. There the donut buttons. This is a, a important piece, definitely World War II era uh, buttons. There's that. Yeah, you can see the the little uh, I forget what they call the the the, the leaf thing um the leaf uh around the i think they're like victory buttons or something like that um but beautiful pair of jeans uh there are obviously some flaws or it's old so that makes sense but this one sold for six thousand dollars which according to my sources it's about half of what it really is worth um maybe if it was you know the listing was a little bit better i uh, would have done a little bit better but still an incredibly Super cool uh, pair of jeans. Uh, would love to own something like this one day. And that was the Heat Check this week. Thanks for watching. Check out Heat Checks every Tuesday uh, when we check out the top 10 highest selling t-shirts and denim.